Hi, my name is Alex Schulte. Um, this is EDU 104, and this is my YouTube book project. I chose to read the book Letters to a Young Teacher by Jonathan Kozul, and um, this book really touched me on many levels. Um, immediately, three things came to mind while reading this book, three points that I could tell he was trying to make. Um, to give you a quick summary of the book, uh, the author, Jonathan, he describes this as an invitation to, um, you know, a beautiful profession is, I think, the words that he used. Uh, the book is about a year of letters he writes to a young teacher that teaches an inner city school in Boston named, who he calls Francesca. Um, let's see. She's a first grade teacher at an all black school and it just so happens that the school that Jonathan taught at in the 1960s is in the same area that um, Francesca is teaching in. Um, so in the beginning she writes him a letter and asks him to come and view her classroom um, as he said that many teachers actually write him and ask him and he felt um, very happy to be asked to you know, come and view her class because it was so close to where he had taught in the 1960s. Um, so when he goes and observes her classroom, um, he actually finds that he falls in love with the students there, the little first grade classroom, and he actually comes back numerous times throughout the whole year to view her classroom. Um, and while he's viewing her classroom and while she's writing him these letters, um, you know, you he really makes a point of three things and in my opinion these three things are the first one he mentions how schools nowadays are being turned into um, test prep factories you know it's not really how the student does it's how they do on their test um, you know they could be asleep in class but if they get an A on that test you know the, the school views the teacher did their job. Um, also, the second point that I think that he does a good job of making is um, the inequalities of the urban schools, um, meaning that segregation today in certain schools is just as bad as it was, you know, a century ago. Um, and this really hit home with me. Uh, my stepsister actually attends an inner city school in Cincinnati. And um, it's amazing, you know, how how much things have changed. Um, you know, she's one of the only white children that goes to school with a ton of black children. Um, and my stepmother actually has to fight for grants for those schools. Um, so, you know, I've seen very close up the inner city school and their problems. Um, and the third most important point that uh, Jonathan makes, and I think is the one that probably touches me the most is um, the happiness that he shows from Francesca and he had had himself when he taught um, the happiness of teaching these children. You know if you think about it on a personal level Francesca was teaching at a school that a lot of parents did not care about the education of their children um, you know, they did not, they were not um, active in their child's education life. And, um, you know, coming to school every day had to have been a challenge for them, just knowing that they're not getting any support from the home front with these kids. And when you think about that, if you think about how every day you would have to wake up and go to a job where you know, the parents of the kids you're teaching just didn't care how, you know, depressing that must be. But, um, you know, you see the happiness from Francesca and Jonathan explains his happiness of seeing these children just excited to be there and excited to learn, even in bleak situations. And I think that is so inspirational. Um, you know, regardless of what age level I want to teach or where I want to teach, you know, it's amazing to know that there's other teachers out there that are just as excited and 
just as happy to teach and you know it how rewarding it must be to teach those kids and how excited they are to learn um one thing that he also said that really got me and this goes along with the whole uh you know just being happy in your teaching position is giving the students especially at such a young age the ability to overcome their insecurities um when children are at such a young age, you have such a influence on them, and it's it's such an amazing thing. It's it just makes anyone want to smile because it's so powerful, um, and you wouldn't think so in such a um, poor black community, um, and that's just an excellent thing. So overall, I really think that this book. Um, did its number on me. I, I, I'm very inspired and I, I love it. And I would definitely recommend um, Jonathan Kozul's books to anyone else. Um, after reading the book and doing a little bit more research on him, I know that he writes about these topics a lot and he actually has another book out discussing the political issues around the urban city schools um, or the inner city schools. Um, and so that would definitely be something I'd want to read too. But again, my name is Alex Schulte and that is my YouTube book presentation.